What's up guys? Welcome back to the ASAP Automotive channel and today we're going to be dealing with the cooling system in our LSTJ. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we went ahead and got our fan shroud off of just four, I think, 11 millimeter bolts. Um, went ahead and pulled the radiator off. Um, that one ended up being like six uh, 10 millimeter bolts, real easy to get them off. So while we had it apart, we're gonna be running AC in this thing, so we're keeping our AC condenser out here. I went ahead and took the opportunity to go ahead and blow through it with the air nozzle, so any dirt and debris are built up in there, it'll keep it from, you know, uh, to be able to dissipate the heat when we hook it all back up. So perfect opportunity to do it while you got it apart. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set our new radiator assembly down and start bolting it down. All right guys, so the, the Novak radiator kit will come with the hardware to mount it, some little um, socket head cap screws. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of blue Loctite on them. They just got regular washers. We're gonna go ahead and get them started and just snug them down. There's really no torque here, just don't get stupid with it. So go ahead and We'll do a quick little time lapse of that for you guys. And... All right, so like anything, when you've got multiple screws in one bracket, go ahead and get all of them started first before you tighten any of them down. So you can kind of adjust it around and get it to where you need it. Make sure it's all good lined up. We're gonna go ahead and run around, go ahead and snug these down and we'll get on to the next part. Alright, now we got our radiator assembly bolted down uh, and everything snugged up. What we're going to do next is go ahead and drop the top part of our bushing, which is technically a body mount, on the front center here. It's one we took off before when we took the core support out. So we're going to throw that in there for right now and then we'll come back in a little bit, put the bottom section of the bolt on, put a little bit of Loctite and tighten it down. But the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put our whole core support assembly back in here and start bolting it down. All right, so we got our grill and core support all bolted in. Uh, six bolts on each side, I think something like that. And then the one um, body mount in the center. Got all that bolted down. Um, for right now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come back later. We'll fish our harness back through, put our lights all in and that stuff. You guys saw that in some of the earlier videos when we were tearing everything apart. It's really just going back the same way you took it apart. So. That being said, we're going to keep our focus today on doing the cooling system. So we've got our radiator in and we've got these two hoses here. So let me go ahead and actually pull these back off for you guys and give you the part numbers. Because... All right, so we didn't pull these back off. We just threw them on there a minute ago to kind of test fit them. So these two here, so the GM setup and the Jeep setup uh, fortunately run a 5 8 and a 3 quarter inch uh, heater hoses. So it's easy to hook them up. So for the 5.8s, what we did is went with a Gates 284.71, and that's your 5.8s, your smaller heater hose. So that gives us a perfect 90 right off of there, and we're able to run it right up here to the heater core. Now, um, these are cut to fit hoses, and that's exactly what you're gonna have to do. Um, we're probably gonna take maybe about a quarter inch off of this end here. There's really not much we gotta take off because it's putting us perfect coming out of here, clearing the headers and all that. And we're gonna snake it up through here and, and then cut this in to wherever we want it. So like I said, that's per application. Just get it to where you got the hose good and routed. It's not laying against the header or anything like that. And you know, and making sure it looks clean. So once you get that length, go ahead and cut your hose and hook it up. We're not actually gonna clamp ours down tonight. So I'm a little particular with this build. I want it really clean looking. So we're not doing the worm clamps. Um, we're actually gonna go with a uh, GM factory style compression clamp. So just a little detail to make it that much cleaner and look more factory. So that being said, that's your 5 eighths. Now your 3 quarter inch is a Gates 
284.79. And it's literally the same principle as the, the smaller one. You know, put it on there, figure out where it's gonna be. You might have to trim it a little bit like we're going to, and then just snake it up once again so it's clear and everything. So, all right, that's it guys. We'll get on to the next part here in just a second. fun with doing these upper and lower radiator hoses so this is why we're much later in the process doing this finishing this video so disregard some of the other stuff but I will say a lot of it had to do with this right here and we'll get to that in a later video but <clears throat> as to the whole fun of the intake and everything um, but we were trying to figure out how to route these because most everyone else runs their intake over this way because they're not running AC and the radiator they get normally has the has it going snaking on across over there. Or, you know, so I've seen people wrap it back around here, different ways to skin the cat, but this is how we did it. Um, I apologize, guys, we ended up covering these, and I think the sticker's off them anyways, but we'll find the part numbers and put them in the, the link below or something like that, or pin a comment for you guys. But this is what we ended up with here. We ended up routing our hoses this way, uh, as you can see, because we had the AC system, uh, we had to make sure we cleared the pulleys there and all that fun jazz. We used the factory GM style clamps, you know, like once again, you know, just to make it more of a clean look. And this is how we ended up doing the lower radiator hose here, um, snaked it around. Now this is after a fair bit of cutting and trimming on these hoses uh, for the part numbers we're going to give you. And this is definitely one of those things where every application is different, so you're, it's just going to be trial and error. Um, yes, there are the accordion style hoses out there that, you know, can flex and all that. And if you can find one in the right length and it works for you, hey, that's awesome. We wanted a little bit more of a factory look than that. Um, so we went this route here and, um, but at least to give you good ideas of what it looks like and some of the issues, uh, you know, if you guys are not running AC and all that fun stuff, you know, you might have the other radiator from Novak that snakes it over that way. Um, I think it lays across a lot like the GM trucks do, um, where the hose comes out from the factory on those. They came out and then snaked and went all the way over there. Never really understood, you know, I mean, I know it's the design of the cooling system why it goes that way, but it just kind of seemed dumb to me. Um, especially when they went away with the fan clutch set up and went to the electric fans. You got this big honking hose hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Anyways, that's what we ended up with, guys. So that's, that's how the cooling system looks on that um and how we wrapped it up if you'll see here we ended up also we got um our motor didn't come with it or we lost it most likely i probably lost it because we've had this stuff laying around for a while there we ended up getting another bracket here um it's a factory gm bracket uh comes on any of the trucks or suvs to route the um the heater hoses around there um we probably could have left ours a little longer um, but I think we'll be fine. But this is kind of generally how you want it to look like. Uh, we do have some issues with it here, but no matter how long we, we did it, it was going to be kind of up against there. So we'll work with that later. Um, you can always sleeve it with some other hose too, uh, or some corrugated, you know, loom or something like that if you wanted. We're still working on some of this over here with the AC stuff. So, but that gives you a good idea with the uh, the cooling system, uh, the, you know, cooling package on this. Uh, and it gives a nice, you know, factory look besides this big honking aluminum radiator, but it just looks really cool with anything. So the, as for the catch can, now we're still not 100% on that. We're still working on that um, because once again, back to this intake, um, now it's kind of in our way here. So we're going to see if maybe we can run a 90 and run our uh, overflow um, can or overflow bottle somewhere in there we still haven't gotten to that point yet but as we figure that out of course we'll let you guys know so um guys we really hope you enjoy the videos we really love making these like we said um this is such a fun project you know quite a daunting one too but 
Uh, love all the feedback from you guys. Uh, the guys that are enjoying and doing these builds right alongside with us, it's awesome, it's cool. Uh, we appreciate it, good, bad, ugly, and different. So, um, if you like these videos, don't forget to check out my dad's channel, MacGyver's Workshop. He has a ton of cool stuff like this. I think he's doing a full-blown restoration on a truck now. Sometimes he's working on boats, bikes, houses. You never know, man. It's it's a big, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice mix of stuff. So, uh, but until then, guys, uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe also. And remember, stock is not an option.